Hey everyone, today we are here at Legoland New York. This is a brand new theme park. It's technically not even open yet. It's still in previews. It's opening this summer. We were here today on a preview day to check out all things Legos. And I'm pretty excited. We've never been to any Legoland park before. Yeah, we've never been to the one in Orlando, so we're super excited to be here today and check it out. Yeah, I don't really know what to expect. There are gonna be some rides that are open and that we're hoping we're gonna get on. Hopefully we'll try out some of the food that's here as well. And we'll just show you guys all around Legoland New York. So let's go have a bricktastic day. Are you ready to have a bricktastic day? I am ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to make our way into Legoland New York. I really like the entrance sign. It's really cool. Everything's nice and bright and colorful although the sun isn't out I wish the sun was making things more colorful but pretty cool so far so we just made our way past where you scan your tickets and they got this awesome red dinosaur right here in the front and also right in the front is where you can get a stroller a wheelchair or pick up any merchandise that you may have purchased I think that's what the package pickup means but if you're looking to rent a stroller or a wheelchair or if you need to visit guest services it is right to your right after you scan your tickets. This dinosaur is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Check them out. I think they were running a contest. I don't know if the contest is finished yet, but they were running a contest and they were letting fans name the red dino. We have to check and see if they named him yet, but he's pretty cool. Yeah. What would you name him if you had to give him a name? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what Cli would you name him? I would name him Clifford. Oh, that's a he good one. He kind of looks like Clifford the Big Red Dog. Yeah, just Clifford the Big Red Dinosaur. So we just picked up a park map in the front where we scanned our tickets. Let's see what we have here. This is brand oh, new. So. Oh, and they do have an app too that you could download and it has the wait times, the show times, an interactive map. So we should maybe download that. Yeah, we should get the app. Ooh, the Granny Smith apple fries. That's oh, what yeah. you were talking about. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those at Legoland in Orlando. I heard they're pretty good. Oh, you got to try those out. Okay, right, so let's take a look at the map. Let's see what we're working with here. So there is the Legoland Hotel that we passed on the way in, but it's not open yet. They're still doing construction on it. It looks like they have all different worlds here. There's like a, a Brick Street, Bricktopia, a Ninjago world. That's pretty cool. They have a Lego Castle, Lego City. All right, so you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go make our way around Legoland. This is the backside of the dinosaur's tail. Look how cool this is. It's just completely made out of Legos all the way up. You got some other characters over here on the side too. Just amazing. Look, this is us. We are the ones that are walking around with the camera. So that's me. Just a little bit heavier and <laughs> I don't a have beard. a beard. <laughs> so the first ride that we saw after making our way in is called Brick Party, which is basically a carousel over here. It's got a little bit of a line. We might do that one a little bit later, but it looks like we're gonna start our day over in Miniland. And I believe this is where they have like all mini versions of like cities like New York. So let's check it out. So we're about to make our way into the mini land section here at Legoland. But look at this view. We got a great view. I should have mentioned that we are in the Hudson Valley of New York. We're about an hour and a half outside of New York City. And yeah, this, this park overlooks some mountains. Really, really nice. So the first little mini land display that we came up on is Goshen, which is actually the town in New York that Legoland is in. And you can see it's got some really cool things. It's got like a little horse racing track, all little town things over there. It looks like there's City Hall. Really cool. There's a church over here. And then Alex was saying that they have some like interactive elements which aren't working right now, probably due to COVID and they don't want people touching it. But you would touch those things and the horses would make their way around the track. How cool is this? This is the Bronx and they have just all different landmarks from the Bronx. There's actually Yankee Stadium, which we'll show you in a second. How cool is this? It looks like the baseball diamond should be going in that little opening, but that's so cool. It's Yankee Stadium. Look how many little fans are in the seats. Check this out. They even have it like down to the detail. They have like people on the sidewalk, cars in the street. That's so cool. Looks like this one right here is the Bronx Zoo. You can see all the little animals in the front and the gates. Oh, look, it's moving. oh yeah, check them out. They're moving. Oh wow. Oh, there's something over there moving too. Yeah. Oh, neat. And in the biggest display so far here in Miniland, this is New York City. These are big. These are like, they have to be maybe 15 feet tall, these Lego buildings right here. Absolutely amazing. Right here in front of us is the Central Park Fountain, which is awesome to see. That's the Central Park Zoo over there. You have the Guggenheim straight ahead. And then right down there, it's a little hard to see, but straight ahead where my finger is, is Radio City Music Hall. It's so crazy. And there's so much detail that goes into it. Like I could stand here all day. Like I just found like the, you know, like the 
bicycles you can rent in New York. Yeah, like the city bikes. The city bikes. There's like a whole thing of city bikes right there. Like oh. it's so cool. Just so cool to see. Check it out. It's like almost lifelike where you can kind of look down the streets and imagine yourself walking around the Lego version of New York. And over on like the far right side, they have Times Square. There's Madame Tussauds straight ahead. There's a play on Singing in the Rain. It's Building in the Rain, but it's supposed to be like a Broadway theater. So cool. You got all the different billboards, dynamite fuel, Coke. Thawed. <laughs> it's supposed to be frozen. That's that's funny. They even have a Lego version of Madison Square Garden. That is so so cool. Oh my gosh! They even have like an underground subway station. Look at that. This is the New York City subway going by. That's so cool. That's awesome. And of course, you can't have a display of anything New York without the Empire State Building. We're now in the next section of Miniland, which is Brooklyn and Queens. Look, you can see the truck going by. That's so cool. That's Coney Island over there. And then over here, it looks like something new is gonna be coming in. They have a, a baseboard down with a little bit of a foundation right across from the Barclays Center. <laughs> that is so cool. And straight ahead, you have Ellis Island and the Statue of Liberty. How cool is that? They got some boats in the water. It would be pretty cool if the boats actually kind of drove around in here. That would be pretty neat. But nonetheless, it's the Statue of Liberty. So Miniland is really, really cool so far, especially if you're from New York. If you're from New York and you know what these landmarks are, it makes it even cooler. The next section of Miniland is over here in Washington, D.C. you got the Capitol Building straight ahead. Washington Monument in the distance. This is just incredible. I can't get over Miniland. We're over in the Middle America section now as you guys can see, and this might be one of the coolest things we've seen so far. They have Mount Rushmore completely made out of Legos. How amazing is that? Good catch by Alex. She, she confirmed that these will talk at some point. Yeah, because I was saying there's like speakers on like the two heads in the middle and then straight ahead too. You yeah, you got a speaker, like a speaker right there. There's speakers underneath each of their heads and their mounts definitely look like they're gonna move. So maybe any moment now they'll talk. Maybe not. Now, like I said, Legoland is still in preview, so you guys can see that they're actually setting up. Looks like it's gonna be some fountains over here. I'm assuming this is the Bellagio because we are in Las Vegas now. You can see the Venetian straight ahead, the Vegas Strip right here. Really cool, and there's someone actually, is he making something? And they even have a wedding chapel. How funny is that over in the Las Vegas section? And here is Lego Wood, which is obviously a play on Hollywood. You got the Chinese theater. Right over here, up there is Griffith Observatory, the Lego Wood sign, and you can see that they're going to be adding another section over here to the Los Angeles area, and they actually have this built up here so that somebody can work on it, almost like a little workstation or a desk, and then it looks like it just drops right into the ground. That's so cool. You can see all the little Lego pieces over here and what they're working on. Really cool to see, kind of like the behind the scenes. That was cool, right? Yeah, I really enjoyed that. That was a good way to start our, our day here at Legoland. Yeah, we got our Lego fix. It was so detailed and it's just crazy to think that like people built that. Yeah, no wonder why it took Legoland so long to open. <laughs> this has been trying to open for a while and that's now we know why. They had to build all yeah. those really cool Lego displays. <laughs> Down over here is a closer look at where the pirate section is gonna be once it is completed. You can see that there's still some work being done, there's some, some open work being done, but they do have a couple of the pirates ready to fight. So we are now in another land, a little section of Legoland called Lego City. I just wanted to call out that once you enter Lego City, which is kind of the next stop after the mini land, this is where you'll find the baby care station. So if you're looking for the baby care station, it's right here in Lego City. Oh look, you spray the water to make the fire go out. Oh, that's pretty cool. Like you drive the truck over. I saw the people, you have to like move something to drive the truck over and then you spray the building. 
Hey, check it out. We found another two vloggers that are here today, too. We made our way inside to the Palace Cinema, and it looks like we're gonna be seeing a 4D show. Now we're inside the theater, about to watch the 4D show. We'll let you know how it is when we get out. All right, so we just got out of Lego City 4D, Officer in Pursuit. It's like the 4D show that's here at Legoland. It was really cute. I enjoyed it. Yeah, there was a lot of cool effects. That we got wet. Um, you get wet a lot. Yeah, and um, like underneath the seat, they like tickle your feet. The chairs like vibrate, so it was really cool. It was good, and it was yeah. a really good like 4D show. Sometimes you go to a 4D show and the effects are just okay. These actually had like a lot of different effects, so it was it was worth it. Yeah, and, and it, it was long too. It, it was, was long. Like I don't know, what like, would you say? Uh, maybe like 10 to 12 minutes. Yeah. Definitely worth it, and if you have little ones that are fans of like the Lego Movie or anything like that, they're really gonna enjoy it. So this is the Palace 4D Cinema. This is where we saw the 4D show just now, and right across from that is an attraction that I think your little ones would really, really enjoy. They have these little cars here, and they can kind of go around all the different streets, drive the cars around. It looks really, really cute. If you guys have been to Disney and have been to Magic Kingdom before, it's kind of like the Tomorrowland Speedway, but like a Lego version. I won't fit in one of those cars. Maybe you'll fit in one I of those. I probably could. You probably could. Yeah. We walked past Granny's Apple Fries and they smelled incredible. So we're jumping in line and we're gonna give them a try. It's So what it is is it says apple fries dusted with cinnamon and sugar with whipped cream and caramel on the side. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds good. Here's a look at the menu over at Granny's Apple Fries. They have the big apple, which comes with ice cream, the regular apple fries with whipped cream, that's what we got, and a couple other ice cream options too. Here they are, the Granny's Apple Fries. It comes with a side of caramel dipping sauce, some whipped cream on top, these smell really, really good. I know, I want to try one. We're definitely going to need some napkins, though. All right, I'll give you the first honors. I'm going to get a little bit of everything We're on trying here. the granny fries. Are they as good as they smell? Yeah. Because they smell delicious. No, they're really good. By their, themselves, they're still really good, though. Like, you don't need the caramel sauce, but it adds to it, so I like them a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, they are good. All right, so let's dip it in the sauce. Give it a little bit of the, the whipped cream, too. Here we go. Now, I've heard really good things about the, the apple fries at Legoland in Orlando, which we've never been to before, but people always rave about them, and now I can totally see why. It's a really good. You guys like kind of like an apple pie, but kind of like a, a more crispy apple pie type of flavor. That's what these are. They're really good. They're not super greasy either, which is nice too, because sometimes you get fries and they're really greasy, but these are awesome. These are good. I think someone's trying to take some of our, our apple fries. Uh, do you see him? It's a little corn guy. Check him out. So we're back over here by the castle and the Royal Feast is kind of like their quick service option. This is where you can get burgers and chicken sandwiches and french fries and things of the like. And then over here is the Royal Market. It's also the Builders Guild, and then there's a roller coaster that's currently closed, but we'll get a closer look in a bit. And this is going to be the queue for the Dragon, which is the coaster that we were really hoping was going to be open today, but unfortunately it's not. And you can see it's, it's not an, an intense coaster, but it's kind of mild, you know, no big loops or, or big drops or anything like that. But this is the biggest ride that would be here at Legoland. This is as thrilling as it's going to get, and you can actually see some people working on the ride right now. But yeah, hopefully this will open soon. I wanted to ride it today, but that's okay. I know they're still working on it. We'll have to come back. And like we said in the beginning of the video, this is still considered a preview period. So they did say that not all the attractions are gonna be up and running. There's gonna be some that may be closed and the dragon just happens to be one of them. But like we said, we'll come back one day in the future and we'll check this one out. Another attraction that is currently closed today is Dragon's Apprentice. Now this is kind of like the kid version of the dragon coaster that's right behind it. You guys can see it's a similar track. They both have dragon ride vehicles, but this one's very, very short and will be good for like maybe your kid's first ever roller coaster experience, something like that. And if you guys are fans of the Coke Freestyle Machines, you can find it at other theme parks. They do have them here at Legoland. Get a nice view of the castle and the coaster over there. There's the dragon coaster. Got the castle off in the distance. 
I love the way this park is laid out. And we are getting pretty hungry, so I think we're gonna grab some lunch over here at Smokey's Barbecue. All right, here is our lunch from Smokey's Brick Barbecue. I got the Brick Duo platter, which has chicken, pulled pork. You got your choice of two sides, so I got the fried pickles and the beans. And then Alex got the uh, brisket platter, which comes with brisket. Also, a choice of two sides, she got the fried pickles and the coleslaw. I just want to say, we haven't tried the food yet, but it was pretty expensive. Yeah, mine was 22, I think, and yeah. yours was... Mine was 20. 20, so, it, and with the waters, it came out to like 54 bucks. Yeah. That's pretty expensive. I mean, they do give you like a decent amount of food, yeah. so, you know, if you are hungry, this is definitely a place to come, but I just hope the quality of the food matches what you're paying for, because it isn't cheap. All right, so I already took a few bites of the brisket, and I actually really like it. It, it's very soft and it like melts in your mouth, so it's good. There's some pieces that are a little bit too fatty for my liking, so I'm kind of just like picking around them. The pickle fries are pretty good. I mean, I've had better fried pickles in the past. The coleslaw is like crunchy, not the best coleslaw I've had in my life, but but the meat is obviously the most important part, and I think it's pretty good, actually. So like I said, I got the Brick Duo platter, which comes with chicken and pulled pork. I'm gonna try a little bit of the pulled pork first. So let's see, it looks pretty good. It's definitely good pulled pork. It's just a little bit too dry. Like it needs it needs a little bit more barbecue sauce on it. So I don't know if they have any. I might actually go check and see if they have some that you can get on the side. But the meat itself is pretty good. Just a little bit on the, the drier side. But for like theme park pulled pork, not bad. The chicken's pretty good. It's got a little bit of a kick to it too. It's not too spicy, but it definitely has more than just like your typical like smoky flavor to it. It's got a little bit of a kick, but the chicken's pretty good. So overall thoughts on Smokey's Brick the Q. What do you think? I thought it was pretty good. I mean, we were just saying it was expensive, but they do give you a lot of food. So, you know, if you're gonna think about it that way, and if you're not gonna eat like a lot, Matt and I probably could have split one platter instead of getting two. So um, just keep that in mind if you're coming. Like you might want to just split it amongst a few people. The sides weren't like anything to rave about. Like the coleslaw was okay. The pickle fries were okay. Um, I tried Matt's beans. Didn't like those. Um, but yeah, I mean the meat is obviously like the main thing here and it, it's actually pretty good. All right, after our lunch, we are going to get on the factory adventure ride. It's posted at a 35 minute wait. There he is. There's Professor Brick. We're gonna go on his adventure ride. So I'm not really sure what this ride's gonna be about, but over here in the queue, we have the history of Lego. And it started all the way back in 1932. Actually, 1934, it sounds like. Is when Legos were actually made as a company. And it's just a whole timeline of Legos. It's pretty cool. In 1978 is when the minifigures were created. 1989, the Pirates, Lego Pirates theme was created. 1996, Legoland Windsor. I wonder if this is the first Legoland resort that ever opened up. Yeah, it looks like it was, because it looks like in 99, Legoland California opened, Legoland Deutschland in 2002, and then in 2011, Legoland Florida. Some of these Legos that are in here are so cool. Now check this out. It's like a full-size Indiana Jones in the queue. So we were in line for the factory ride, and it went down. But we're gonna try again later. I think now we're gonna make our way back into Ninja Go and try the Ninja Go ride. We haven't gone on that one yet. We'll see how long the wait is. So we hopped in line for Ninja Go the ride. It's posted at a 45-minute wait. Let's time it out and see if it's right. We've been saying this wrong the whole time. Yeah, we just heard the operator say it and he said Ninjago. It's Ninjago. Ninjago. We've been saying Ninjago. <laughs> While we're in the queue for Ninjago, just want to call out that masks are required for all guests when you are on the rides or in the queues, but when you're just walking around Legoland, masks are not required. They're kind of showing what the ride is now. It looks like you use your hands to kind of throw things. Oh, check it out. It's like an interactive ride. These are the ninjas that we're gonna have to try to take down. There they are. Are you ready to take down some ninjas? <laughs> yes. So we are about to get on Ninjago. It was a long wait. We waited just over an hour. Here's a look at the ride vehicles. It kind of reminds me of like the ride vehicles from uh, Spider-Man over at Universal. And it looks like there's some like shooting elements. So looks like it's gonna have some Toy Story Midway Mania vibes as well. Let's see how it is. So what'd you think of Ninjago? 
I'm happy because I finally beat Matt on a ride. <laughs> Alex always loses in like Toy Story Midway Mania or games like that. Yeah. And she crushed me in this one. It was like 140,000 <laughs> to like 70,000, but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, we've never been on a ride with that kind of like technology, no. so it was cool. It was different than what we're used to. Yeah, they're, they're very strict here about filming on the rides, which is why I haven't been able to film on any of the attractions that we've gone on, but it was cool. And the way that this ride operates was it was like, you just use your hands to, to shoot all the ninjas and stuff. And it's kind of got me thinking, like, is this the technology that Web Slingers is going to have over at Avengers Campus? Might, yeah. It just might. Yeah. It was interesting. It was kind of difficult to aim, but it was a fun game nonetheless. So yeah. I definitely recommend coming to check this one out. This is one of the ones I would say here that's like adults can enjoy. Because mm -hmm. a lot of the yeah. things here are definitely geared for younger kids, which to be expected. But this was a fun one. I like that. We officially made it past where we were. Yeah. when the factory ride closed before. I hope it doesn't shut down again. Well, let's hope not. We made it a little bit further in the queue, and hopefully, barring any breakdowns, we get to go on the factory ride. Oh, check that out. That's so cool. The Lego factory tour is a trackless ride system. Melt them down using dragon fire! But Gary's asleep again. <laughs> okay, everyone, roll as far as you can off the three. One, two, three. Roar! Oh, not out enough. Again. One, two, three. Roar! <laughs> He's awake. Stage two. Now our elephants squish the melted granules into the machine, and our octopus helps. Mold it into Lego bricks. Stage three, minifigure production. In fright! Now it's time to shrink you down and test the Pygomatic, turning you into a Lego minifigure. Yes, 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 the machine is experimental. But don't worry, they'll be turned into minifigures of some form or another. Hold on, everyone. This is it. Stage four, packaging. I can't wait to see what you look like as a minifigure. Aha! You look awesome. Uh, look at Move me. Move your arms. Come hey, on, give me some wave and strike a pose for the camera. It's time to. exit through the gift shop and let's see what they have here. So they got some classic yeah, Lego sets Lego over here if you just want right, to buy some some pieces and kind of do your own thing. And then they got this cool t-shirt here. I actually like this a lot. $25.99 and it says Legoland on the sleeve. They got all different types of backpacks and Lego sets over here. They even have minifigure puzzles. Thousand piece puzzle. One of just faces. This one's probably so hard because the whole thing's pretty much yellow. Then they also have this section called Pick a Brick where you can kind of fill up a little cup or a, a tub of Lego bricks and they have them all here on this wall. And they also have this section called Mini Figure Mayhem where you can come and actually build your own Lego minifigure. And here goes the Duplo Express, which is like a little train ride for your really little ones. So if you have some very, very small kids, there you go, they could ride on the Duplo Express. And before we make our way out here of Legoland New York, we are gonna take a walk through the big shop and see what the main gift store here at Legoland is like. Here we are, we're in the big shop. And there's, I don't even know where to begin in this store. This is like the biggest Lego store I think I've ever seen. And you see they have all different sections. They have Minecraft, Star Wars, Harry Potter, 
Ninjago over there, Avengers. There's so much to see in the store. I know, I'm like overwhelmed. This is really cool. I mean, I'm not in the market for Legos because they are very expensive, although I do really enjoy putting them together. But this one is super, super cool. Look at this, Jurassic Park, T-Rex. Comes with all the little minifigures from the movie as well. That's awesome. They have these plushes too of the guys from the Ninjago ride. These are the guys that we were throwing our little little blasters at. They're cheaper than the Disney Spirit jerseys. <laughs> They're $57. $57. You got a Legoland on the front. What does it say? It says Building Memories. Oh, Building Memories. That's cute. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And here's another one of the Legoland New York shirts for $23.99. They also make this in kid sizes, but this is an adult shirt. This one I like a lot. I actually might get this one. I've been eyeing this Ghostbusters Ecto-1 since Christmas time. I have not pulled the trigger on it, but I love this. And they even have it on display up over here. So, so cool. I love Ghostbusters. And I always wanted to get this, but I can't pull the trigger. We found some Disney. Everywhere we go, we have to find Disney. <laughs> These are cute. They're called Brick Sketches. They have Mickey and Minnie. Very cute. Oh, and up here, let's check them out. They have Brick heads, Goofy and Pluto, and Donald. All right, so that is gonna do it for our day here at Legoland New York. Overall, we had a really, really fun day. We came in with pretty much no expectations because we've never been to a Legoland park before, but it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. Yeah, me too. It is geared more for like little kids. So like if we had small children, this would be like the perfect place to come. Yeah. But it still was fun as an adult. Like there's also gonna be some more like shows and attractions coming down the road. Again, this was a preview day, so not everything was open. But from what we did today, it was really fun. Yeah, and once that coaster opens, we have to come back because I want to check out that dragon coaster. Mm -hmm. Looked really cool, but like Alex said, the rides are definitely geared more towards the young ones. They did have the Ninjago ride, which we went on, which was really cool. And then the factory ride was awesome as well. And then once everything else opens up, there's gonna be you know maybe one or two more things for some of the bigger kids to be able to do. But if you have young ones, and especially if they're into Legos, highly recommend coming to check this out. It's in a beautiful location too. It overlooks like the mountains of Hudson Valley, New York. Really, really nice. Yeah. So overall, we definitely recommend Legoland New York. We will be back once it officially opens down the line to kind of see what's different you know, now versus once it's officially good to go, considering this is still a preview period. Um, but also just want to throw a couple things out there. We paid $49.99 per ticket. That was the special uh, preview price. I believe the tickets are going to go up to about $79 per adult. It's $25 to park. So if you guys enjoyed coming along with us today, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up and let us know down in the comments if you've ever been to any of the other Legoland parks throughout the country. If you guys are new here, hit that red subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of our videos to come in the future. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.